In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row that mark our place. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Every evening, bugles sound the last post at the Menin Gate in Ypres, Belgium. They do this to honour the 35,000 soldiers whose names are inscribed on the memorial. Their bodies have never been found to have a decent burial. Twenty million people died in the Great War of 1914 to 1918. We will remember. The battlefields of Flanders are dotted with the cemeteries and memorials to the lost dead of the Great War. The largest monument at Tietval bears the names of 73,000 unburied soldiers from Britain and France who died in the bloodiest battle of the war, the Somme. It doesn't say where they were killed, it just says where they're listed. Um, it's all the names that the soldiers who didn't have the graves from the Battle of the Somme. And yeah, there's 73,000 names all carved into the wall, so it's like incredible. I found two people with my last name and they're from Aylesbury, which is quite strange. And I think one of them is someone my middle name was named after. It's sort of, it's haunting to see that all these people who share your name and it's sort of like looking at your own, maybe yourself possibly, looking at yourself as a, as a name on the wall. I mean, if I was in that time and I had the same name, I could be, I could have been exactly on the same wall as these people who all died. And they all came from communities who tried drafted in loads of people and eventually they were all killed in a really horrific way. The Battle of the Somme began on the 1st of July 1916. At Beaumont Hamel men from Newfoundland went over the top. One in five came back. After the men went over the top, many were shot down immediately. Those who were able to move forward found it very, very difficult to regroup with their battalions. So the only really landmark was the danger tree, um, the remnants of a tree um, that had been spared somehow. So lots of men made their way to the danger tree in the hope that others would do the same. But of course, the enemy knew that people were likely to move to landmarks. And many men lost their lives at, at that tree. There was a lack of intelligence throughout the entire battle, not knowing the areas where the enemy were, not knowing that they'd even withdrawn most of their soldiers to the support lines. It's just it caused a catastrophe. Tynecott is the largest Commonwealth cemetery in the world. I found my great great uncle just over there. <laughs> just like you don't really expect it to be like this. It's like. No, it's weird. I'm glad you came. Yeah. It'd be hard to explain it to other people though. You can't really put it into words what it's like. It's just kind of shocking how young the soldiers were and how many of them died. Mm. 
the number of unnamed soldiers really shows how destructive it was because they've never you just don't know who they are and that's how much they were ruined by it. Well, I just think that there's no other way they could have done it, no better way. They've managed to make a horrific event seem beautiful and attract people to do it rather than to put them off to discover what they've the disaster that World War One caused. Is it right to make something like that look attractive? Well, I I think that the, they shouldn't present the way like the death of people in a a bad way. They should present it in a beautiful way. They put themselves up for for their own country, so they should be presented as beautiful people. Langemark is one of the four German cemeteries. A mass grave holds 25,000 men. It's just wrong. Like with the British one, it's all, you know, marble, it's white, everything's so perfectly cut. And this one, it's all, like, dark. It's also, in the British one, they had the specific soldier on the on the grave or even if they didn't name the soldier they still said um, a soldier in the Great War. And that was one grave to represent that one person whereas this one it's one grave or like a sort of tomb to represent like 10 or 15 people. So I, I, I just seem it just seems quite disrespectful. <laughs>